Greetings and welcome to Battletech episode 4. In the previous episode we did a milk run and it was actually a milk run which is surprising. Yeah, in the battle however, Hangover here did take 19 days worth of damage due to a headshot in the mech. But uh, the mech itself didn't take any real damage, in fact it didn't take any damage going to the uh, repair board. But uh, Hangover himself did take some injuries so our new recruit out for 19 days. At the same time we have Decker and Smudge also out for 13 days apiece still. And we're about to get a new mech back. So we need to get another mech uh, warrior in, which is good because we actually made some money. We're now over a million. So we can actually afford that extra mech warrior. Let's get that mech warrior in immediately. Hello. All right. So we have people we can't afford. Uh, can't because your mercenary range is too low. Another kicks out of backer. Uh, Where's that little dash? Is that just. I want to go with no abilities. And you have. A veteran mech warrior hooker. Okay, so we can't get the veterans because we don't have the skill for them. That is fine. Again, I want people with high level guts and high level gunning. The other two I can upgrade as needed uh, relatively easily. So three and three is not bad. Four and three is not bad. Two's a bit low. Two's a bit low. Commander? Yeah. Awaiting orders. Okay, so we're going to be looking. Receiving you. Yeah, so these are really not really going to help me in much. Anyway, but okay, so it's between you two. Um, would I want the high? You cost a bit more to hire, but you have three, you have a better one there, and you have low in tactic. So, do I want better in tactic or better in piloting? Piloting means you're less likely to be uh, fall over if you hit, but tactics means you're less likely you have less uh, damage, you can do better long range shots. I'm gonna grab Waiting epic. For orders. How's think... it going? I think better off with Epic at this point. Good to go. Hmm. I mean, tagline here. Yes, Commander. Has the three and three and two, but you have guts of two, so you have less health. Although we could upgrade the health pretty easily. And that uh, evasion, um, less give you long range missiles earlier on. Hmm. And the piloting would mean you're less unlikely to get steady with me if you hit hard. You do have the three gunner and the okay tag, tailgate. You're up. New mech warriors available. Excellent. I only need the one right now. Um, I need to get a nice group of them, but I don't want to spend too much on them. We don't really have the money to spend on them um, that much to spend. All right, let's go look at our mech warriors for upgrade points. I don't think we can upgrade many of these. Commander. I can give you tactics three. Um, but it's not really worth it. But Gunnery 4 will give you a 10% base weapon hit. You are getting Gunnery 4. Mech Warrior training complete. Excellent, BM off. Uh, Decker, Receiving you won't have you. anything since you didn't go into the battle. Uh, Glitch, Good to go. you don't have points for anything. You need another 100 XP for that. Hangover, you can get Gunnery 3. And you know what? It'd be worth giving you that to get that bonus to your ability to hit. Training confirmed, Commander. Um, Medusa, you. you can't buy anything, and Smudge, you can go for tactics. And honestly, I'm not going to be tagging you into that area, so I might hold on to those again. Order. Tailgate, you're the new person, you won't have anything. Okay, we are good to begin that. Uh, the mech bay shows us that all is good with the world. Uh, all our mechs are re prepared, prepared, repaired, and there is nothing to uh, do, no damages to be fixed. In this area, so we are good, and the you should be ready in two days. So maybe we'll have all of them by the time we get to a contract. Let's go look at a contract. Okay, we have two contracts available. There's an ammunition convoy, and there's a key personnel. So ammunition convoy. <clears throat> we have reports of a canopian activity near one of the outlying bases. Unfortunately, we already have a military supply convoy in the field, and it'd be easy prey for forces of mechs. You need to rendezvous with the convoy and protect it while it's being evacuated. Ugh, I hate convoy missions. Uh, we'd have to travel for 17 days to get there anyway. Most of our mechs are back by then. And key personnel. We have an opportunity to eliminate a key figure in the local government's hierarchy in this system, which will leave the organisation in chaos and ensure safety of the American operations. The target will be relatively unguarded and vulnerable. We'd like you to strike this window of opportunity. Okay. So we have an assassination mission. Sounds like we're hitting a middle manager, not much glory, but it pays. The target won't be alone. Uh, there's a bonus we clean up escorting units. Still, if things get too hot, we can always hit and run. That's true. Or 
will cause a tactical fumble. We're going to bail them out. So, escort mission, where we can get for three out of fourteen. Then we get max pace two or nine, or we can do that one. So pace less, and we're already there. But look at it. So if we do that one first. We're already there, and we can maybe might be able to travel to that one afterwards. Okay, let's negotiate the assassination mission, shall we? We are, after all, mercenaries. And assassination is part of mercenariness. Okay, now I do want salvage, but right now I actually want more cash. That's actually worth it. So it's worth a lot more cash. We get rep bonus. We get, if we did that, we get loads of reputation bonus. I don't really care about reputation bonus at this moment in time. Uh, all of that. We get two pieces of equipment off the battlefield. And we earn 145. Or we earn less, but we get an extra one piece of material. It's not worth the extra one piece of material. 45 to 12, that means. Yeah, we can't even sell some of the combo for that value. So we'll go with uh, maximum cash, please. Uh, and we'll go to that battle. Now, it's a mech clean. It's an assassination with a cleanup. Okay. It's an assassination run. Uh, so. We don't have any extra mechs around, so let's get the mechs out of there and make sure we put the right people for the right job. So, Shadowhawk, you have the LRMs and AC5, but mostly you have you have an L a single air LRM and a single SRM. The Blackjack is all about mediums. The Vindicator is LRM5, PPC. That's what we do around. Yeah, thanks. And the light is all about it. So the one with the worst um, shooting, uh, but also best uh, guts, is the one that really wants to be inside the light. So you got five and four. You got three and five. Uh, you got four and four. And the new mate, new new person is two and three. You still have the lowest, so you're going to be there taking the brunt of the attack when we get you up close. Right, so we have a five, a single five. Now the person with the most um, long range attack is the best person for this one. So who has the, right, so you have LRMs and SRMs, which is pretty good. You have mediums and PPCs and an S laser. Okay, you get to have that mech. I just want you to have the best weapons because you've got the best ability to hit things. Uh, medium lasers and AC2. Um, you really should be on that one then. You have the blackjack and beam off. You get the shadowhawk. I hope you guys. I thought we got the tonnage. We just yeah. Ready, mech warriors. Go. But up, but up. Give them everything you've got. Will do. Command interface initiated. Commander, Antel's right. The target is in the AO, and only lightly guarded. We see a lot of local government activity in the vicinity of the target. Take them out, get to the evac zone, then we get paid. Alright, so, destroy the... So we have two missions, well, three objectives. Number one, get there, destroy that. That is just a target we have to destroy. <clears throat> it will be guarded, but it's, apparently it's lightly guarded. Now... The key point here being that our sensor range, yes, sensor range. The key point being that we can get extra bonus points for destroying all of the enemy mechs. However, if we don't have the firepower, we can run back to here for an escape. I'm guessing it's here. So, first thing I'll do is take my tailgate here and sprint you as far forward as I can get you. I need you as far forward as possible. Give me that sensor. Give me that sensor, Lou. Beep, beep, beep. Beep 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 Sensors have something. Thank you. I expecting that. There's no way the mech can get over this barrier, so you're over here. Are you a mech? We don't know, you're just a contact. Now we're heading for that. So if I can get up on this hill, we can pelt down from above and not have to worry about going down and around and, th and through. So we're, we're heading for the high ground. We're going to go up this way. Which means we're going to deal with this mech at some point. Okay. You sprint, you might as well follow up. Go that way if you can. Get, get, yeah, let's go a little bit higher on this side. 
Copy that. Uh, can you go that way since it's a short run? And can Moving you out. also go that way since it's a short run? I repainted the mechs, by the way. <laughs> well, between the off camera, I repainted them all with more purple and pinks because it looks nicer. Whoa, we're in combat. More apparently, hostile. apparently we're in combat. Now you are a light mech. We know that because you took your sh your turn immediately. So first thing is tailgate. You get to go first. Yes, commander. Uh, you get to go up here and get a nice downward shot, hopefully, on that mech. Move on up. And I'm going to give you vigilance. And brace. There's another mech on the target, right? A vehicle. Vehicles are relatively easy to take out for the firepower they can bring. Okay. Now, we've got three mechs down here. We need to make in a shot for here and blast that area. So that's our target. Um, beat him off. Let's get one on sprint. I'd rather get you up here and prepped and ready to do the attack we're gonna go i can go through here but i think we're gonna go up this way this is quite steeply you might not be able to get up there let's sprint you to there anyway confirm there's another mech are you a mech or a vehicle we don't know yet uh glitch i hear ya Sprint. Uh, go that way. Take, take the hill. Bam, bam, ba da, ba da, ba da, ba da, ba. Thank you. And Medusa. Thank you. Can I have Medusa, please? Medusa. Yes, Commander. Sprint. Also go that way. Roger that. There we go. Now let's see what you guys can do. But I like the camouflage we've got. <laughs> Enemy round two. Here we go. Unknown vehicle coming up. Do they even know we're here? Probably not necessarily. Tailgate. I mean, I can get you there and you'll be able to see down the hill. They must shoot the vehicle. I'm going to reserve. I want them to move to a point where they will get hit by us on our turn, but we won't necessarily get hit on their turn. Uh, let's push it back next one more. That makes sense. all their units have their turns and then we get to go. That vehicle's not going to be in any dan danger. He won't get anywhere near us yet. The next vehicle's going to go. Again, it's not going to get anywhere near damage points. We can hit both of those two though pretty early on. Okay. Alright, so we our turn next. And we get all of our units in one go. There is actually one mech left to go. You know what? Let's reserve one more time. Let's get all of their units to take their turns. Perfect. That vehicle come up there, and now we can hit all of them with, when we go. So let's start off with the ones at the back. You'll have an indirect shot at that vehicle. Okay, let's go put you there. We'll take that indirect shot quite happily. Oh, it's a striker. Hi, striker. 5% chance, chance of an LRM. Ooh. Uh, call a single shot at a target at a minus four difficulty. The target's next initiative is reduced by one to a minimum of one. Ooh. Cost 20 morale though. Hold off on your shot for now. I wish I, wish I could move multiple units first before uh, before we had to take the shots. 35% chance. Uh, give me a vigilance and a brace. The vigilance means we can bump our uh, initiative up, so hopefully we can uh, get ahead of that vehicle's next turn. Glitch! Waiting for orders. You can't really go up this hill right now, so I'm going to take tailgate. Ask you to move. I can put you up here and just pelt these guys, but I don't want to hit these if we can. So let's let's target the vehicle first, shall we? Pop you there and get you to fire at the vehicle. Medium laser, fire the hole. I'm not even sure if we hit that vehicle or not with the trees in the way. Uh, did we hit you? Little buddy? Buddy? Don't know. 
Good to go. Glitch. Uh, you're not going to be able to get up the hill, are you? Not this turn, anyway. But we have a chance. 80% chance of hitting that one, 40% chance of hitting that one. So we move you to here. Move you to there, and you'll have an 80% chance of hitting that vehicle. If you take one thing out of the battlefield, I'd be happy. Uh, target the vehicle with an LRM strike. A fire. Ooh, did we do much damage to it? I wish we could see the damage itself. Oh, we can right click in. Sorry, my mistake. So you have Desert Biome. You need to see that there's only 8% of the... Okay, it's fine. You have Shoddy. You need to see a little keep and resupply. Ha! You have weak armor. And weak against melee. Well, if you, if you say. Uh, we've done quite a lot of damage to your vehicle, though, so I'm really happy with that. Uh, ooh, Medusa. Receiving you. Now, if I were to ask you to move up, would you have... No. In that case, you're going to have to sprint and get yourself that bit closer for next turn. Because I need you in the battlefield, and you're, frankly, out of the battlefield right now. There we go. And now, the enemy turn. <clears throat> Here comes the mech. Bum ba dum ba -da. Hi, mech. Uh, you got a Firestalker. You... Hit. Gotta hit camera angles like that. Tailgate. Oh, you can't hit that guy. Um, but you can kill that. So I'll leave you where you are right now. And we'll give you a shot at the vehicle with an 8% chance on a medium laser. Just do the damage. That is not how damage works. <clears throat> Just to point that out, that's not how doing the damage works. Here come the vehicles. Now we need to kill these other two pretty quickly so we can deal with these vehicles separately. Okay, good, it's out of range. And now we get to shoot. Now, if we take Shadowhawk here, you have an indirect line right now where you are. To, you, have, you have a direct on that guy. Now, if I ask you to move just one square forward, you would be able to... Can I target you? No, I wish I was able to target that. Can I lock that? I don't want to click there and make it move, that's the thing. Uh, if I move you to there, Position you're going to be in the place to be pelted by both vehicles, so we need to destroy that, that strike as fast as possible. Uh, get rid of the LRMs, hit it with everything else. Engaging. That'll do! <laughs> That vehicle just had to go. I need to focus fight on that other mech as soon as possible. One left vehicle. Excellent. Excellent. Here comes another vehicle. We kill this guy with what we have and we send at least one person up there to shoot off the hill, right? Good. Glitch. I hear ya. Uh can you even you can't even move that far? Wow. Okay. Uh if we jump jet to say here. That puts in a nice line of fire, hopefully to do some major damage at this point. There we go. We have evasive and we have cover. Nice. But most importantly, hi. Um, I'm going to take the LRMs off. 35% chance it's just not worth the hit. But bye. Firing on target. Ooh, PPC to the chest. And now it's enemy turn. No enemy. Okay. Medusa, yep. uh, you also can't make it up that hill because you're the heavy, so you could also jump jet into cover. Engaging jump jet. <clears throat> Having jump jets is really useful. Um, the heavy, but they're worth it. In this case, could you fire every another 45s, but do the damage. <laughs> there we go. That's some damage done. Now that makes me coming. What's he doing? He's not going for a melee strike. He's he's going for a shot. Flamer. No, not the flamer. Damn it. Okay, you use a flamer on this to be. I know, I know. You're going to, have to do a, a shutdown next turn. I thought you've already shut down. Look at that. 
So the flame of raise our internal temperature. All of our components are overheating, and we're going to have to take some damage if we're not careful. We actually already took damage anyway. Orders. So you've got a flamer. Now, I can get to you and just punch you for 15 damage. That's just not going to do the job. Where we are right now, we can hit you with an 8% chance with that, but I'm going to move you forward to here, Roger. and I'm going to hit you with all my little weapons. Now, they're not the best weapons in the world, because it's a little guy, but it's sustained fire, so... Enjoy! Jump jet destroyed, evasion, minus one, good. I would have preferred damage something else, though. I would have preferred you to do some more damage to something else. Enemy turn! Here come the vehicles! Prepare for attacks! You see, he's the one they're going to go for because he can't do a lot of the uh, evasion due to the heat. That's not all you've got. Look at that heat. If he hits maximum, he will just turn off and they'll be vulnerable. Okay, let's start with Medusa. You're not going to do anything just yet. Good Glitch. To go. Your job right now is going to be move. Can I rotate the camera for a second? Move to there. You have medium, short range, and PPCs. If we did that, it'd be 4% of the PPC. Right now, it's a. No. Right now, it's a. We can't even hit him with the PPC where you are. So if we move you to there, still near 45, but worth the shot. Okay, and then we get to fire on you with everything. Pop the LRMs. Oh, so many misses, but that arm is gonna hurt. That arm is gonna hurt. Here comes a vehicle. Now, be him off. You've got to do this mech out of business. You have an AC 10. Is that an AC? Is AC 5 a short range or long range? Uh, damage uh, 10 heat. Make MG range very long. Ah, so we can't really use that that well. We're backing off, and that would make our SRMs useless. If I were to say go there, okay, that would give us a better chance to do a lot of things. Okay, we'll do that. Move up the hill. Also means Shadowhawk gets to uh, Beyond gets to do the uh, primary target soon. Target the mech. Uh, let's hit everything, just to do as much damage as we can this time round. Let's see how you like this. Yes! Central Torso destroyed! Might be some good salvage there. Yes! That left arm is right arm is gone, but the left arm is still intact. Now, Medusa! Unfortunately, yeah. you are at thermal barrier. You're taking damage at that point, you will shut down at that point. I need you to not do anything basically. Uh, I'm going to give you Vigilance, so you can go first earlier in the trip tree. And I'm going to give you Brace, so you don't melt yourself. Copy that. There we go. Now, Tailgate. Commander. You're going to sort of destroy that if you can, so straight out. Can you hit that where you're at? No. Uh, move to there. And you'll have an 8% chance to hit it. Well, you know what? Kill it. Yes! Alright, so there's just one vehicle left to go. <clears throat> just the one vehicle. Now we need to hit that target as well. So, here comes the vehicle. We hopefully get hit with one of you two. And then we... No, okay. And we get to get you to the end of the hill here. And pelt from above. Aye, aye. Medusa, if you were to stand where you are right now, I'd attack that thing. You can't. Okay. If you were to move to there... And attack it. You have a lot of weapons in capable of hitting it. Now we're gonna watch out for your thermals right now. So on an attack pattern, if we were to remove anything that's got a lower chance of hitting, first of all, and then so it's all medium lasers. Uh, 25 damage each. That's fine. If we then start taking lasers out, one laser off. Okay. So the AC, you still be overheating. So we'll put you there. Fire three medium lasers and please kill it. Firing. Three would have killed it, but you missed one. Okay, okay. Uh, that means glitch Europe. Glitch Europe. What can I do for you? Uh, for you, you, I just need you to run to there. It'll put you close to the battlefield for uh, for the main job. 
Ba-da, 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 ba-da. Hi! How you doing? No PPC required, medium and short range lasers. Time to die! Boom. And that leaves one that mix. I bad about shooting the little guys. <laughs> I don't. And then we get Beamorph, who is, quite frankly, prepped and ready to come over here and pelt the enemy. Oop, wrong button. Oh, which is there. Has he been moving all this entire time? For now, sprint, and we'll see what we can see. Coordinates received. Enemy contacts! Ba -da, ba -da, ba -da, ba -da. Right. Can you sprint up here? You betcha. Can you sprint that way? Can you sprint that way? Tailgate. Uh, you are a short range only. So I'll send you the long list fast way around. Now we'll wait for you. Are you still moving, you ask them. You really run a long way. There we go. So I'm gonna do the same thing in reserving. I don't know where you are on that tree, but when all my mechs doing their job at the same time. There we are. Enemy turn. Yeah, you. Yeah, you move closer to us. You'll regret that. Really, really, really will regret that. Orders. Beam off. Uh, if I put you there, you'll shoot down. Uh, if I if I put you there. We can't tell. Damn it. Uh, glitch. Waiting on you, Commander. I cannot get you into a position to shoot right now. So I'm going to ask you to sprint to here. So both my mechs next turn will be in a position to shoot from above without being seen this turn. Perfect. <clears throat> and I might as well just, I might as well just uh, get you two to do that. You need to sprint. This way. Let's move. Just get you into position where you better shoot next turn. Excellent, the heat is going down nicely on that. And tailgate. Yes, Commander. Uh, I need you again. I need to boot it here. On the move. Ba -ba -ba -da. Tailgate's pretty quick. Run, tailgate, run. Oh, I like tailgate. It's a little guy. The locust is a cute mech. Okay, um, brace, and there's no point in doing anything there, so we might as well just tell you to guard. Yes, Commander. Because you can you shoot from where you are? No, you don't actually have a, any kind of shot. We can do an indirect shot potentially. That mech won't be able to see you, or you can't see it. But an indirect shot is still a shot, nonetheless. Alright, what do we have? An error at 25%. We might as well do a little bit of damage. A primary target is taking damage. It is. I mean, it was literally the point. Let's, oops, let's reserve. Get that mech to do its move. Oh. Oh, come on. How did you even see me? I couldn't see you. Oh. Oh, that hit me. Oh, that's not good. Another mech warrior out of... Action for 20 something days. Alright. Waiting for orders. You go there and do some major damage. Uh, you yes, can't really go anywhere other than there. If you go there, you'd have 85, 85, and 50. If you were to go Good there, to go. you'd have 85, 85, 50, but your one of your weapons wouldn't be usable. PPC a long range. Yeah, very long range. But there. Well then. Isn't that unfortunate for you? Since um, two of my mechs are going to have full capabilities of shooting at you. Fire! Oh, no, hang on. 50-50 still worth a shot. Fire in the hole! Uh -huh. Would have much preferred the PPC to have hit, though. Would have much preferred the PPC to have hit. Beam off. Move to there. And blast them with everything you have. Yeah, everything you have. Firing a full salvo. Boom, 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 boom. They have a lot of armor on that mech, by the way. Wow, they have a lot of armor on that mech. I want that mech. Just, oh, I'm just saying. Medusa! 
Uh, Medusa, you really need to get into the battle, my friend. Uh, get you to there. You can't shoot, unfortunately, but the next turn you'll be on level playing field with it. And... Brace. Tailgate. Order. You're going to be able to shoot this turn as well. You need, unfortunately, back here is not something that's useful. Medium laser 65, but the thing is, it's such a big mech. Medium laser, SRM, long range. Okay, it's not got much on the weapon side of things, but damn, is it powerful. What is rear armor like? 30s, ooh. What is that red line around anyway? Is that just what we're going to hit for your fire? I can't know what the red lines are. Hmm. Um, yeah, it's a weak rear armor, obviously, by quite a large amount, actually. Um, but getting you anywhere that's useful is not a good idea. Put you there, and you can't even hit him. You have 80% chance. Back here, you'll have a, 80, a 65. 65. 65. 80. 80. Okay, from the hill. We're up top of the hill. I prefer height. I prefer height. Here we go, here we go, here we go. And then begin firing of your weapons. You only have medium laser available, so fire it. Some damage is least damage. And here we go. Until you get a fire again. Nice. Yes, now, you can't really get behind it, unfortunately. So you're going to stand where you are. Position strike. Ooh, can we... It will be a harder shot. But can I do a headshot? It's 2% chance of hit. Worth fire. it if you can. Hit him on the arm. It was worth a try. If you can hit that head, do damage to the driver. Ooh, okay. Be him off. Standing by. Full on salvo. Fire. Glitch. Waiting on you, Commander. Full on salvo. Can you your shots? But fire nonetheless. Here we go. Yes, PPC hit. Okay, and finally, Medusa. Standing by. You're going to actually get into the battle this time round. Move into position and prepare to pelt it with everything you've got. Uh, absolutely everything you've got. Fire! Alpha strike! Oh yeah, pilot injury. You injured our pilot, we injure your pilot. Here we go, and that's his turn. It's reversing, it's reversing. Who are you firing at? The little guy. Ooh, you had to pick on the little guy? Oh, not another injured pilot. Come on, build better caps, will you guys? Well, unfortunately you did take a lot of hit there. So you know what I'm going to do? Um, if we can move you to there... We still wouldn't even get a good shot on you. If you don't move, I need to move you closer. Ugh. Could really do with you not being closer. What's your armor like? You've basically lost that arm, okay. If we can keep the arm away. Um put you there, turn you side on. Move Sorry guy, you're gonna be the closest one to it and it's gonna want to shoot at you again. But of all the mechs that we can possibly put into battle situation, hopefully turn, we got that, he the helm that weapon turned away. Uh, you still can't fight everything, but fight what you've got. Ooh, a nice leg shot. Enemy turn. <clears throat> it's running away, guys. I'm interested now. We damaged that badly. And you are running away from us. Ha! Huh. Waiting for orders. Medusa. Uh, move to there and prepare to hit it with everything you've Roger. got. My two mechs on the hill should have long range weapons really well off right now. Uh, low chance on everything, but quite frankly, Ignore. take your chances. At this point, some damage is better than no damage on this particular mech. It's so powerful. 
with its armor. It's, that's not good weapons though, it's just a tank. Glitch, Waiting what do you order. have on your long range capabilities? 45s. Alright, we're gonna jump down. If we were to jump to there, still gonna get 45s. If we were to jump anywhere else, it's indirect, indirect, indirect. These are all indirect, aren't they? Yeah, these are all indirect shots, unfortunately. Okay, what if you were to walk to, say, there? 55 to 50, your current ones are 55 and 50, is best place there. If you don't move at all, 40s, if you move to there, 55 and 50 is okay. Well, you're moving to there then. Keep the high ground and um, pelt them from above. It's only 55s, but quite frankly, fire what you've got. Special delivery. Yes, a PPC hit. I love the PPC when it hits. It's unfortunately like it was a railgun, basically. Orders. Beam off. When your current position, what are your chances to hit? 60s and 60s. If you were to move, you're not going to move. If you were to jump, you can't jump anywhere that would give you... Ooh, you can jump to there. 40, 50, 40, 45 and 45. So where you are right now, better chance to hit but only fight two of your weapons. We're going to jump in case he tries to move. Here we go. And we're going to hit it really hard when we land. Come on, guys. Fight everything you've got. Even though some of those are only 30%, it's still worth a shot. Right now. There we go. Because we, we actually have back armor there as well, which is useful. Okay. And tailgate. Receiving you. Unfortunately, again, you're going to be in a situation where you're going to be the only one that can see. But you're going to be in a little bit of actual cover here. On my way. Don't get killed, okay? That's just the that's just a thing I shouldn't have to say, but I am saying it, okay? Medium laser. There we go. Now the Wolverine's going to want to come after us now. Who are you firing at? You fired at the little guy and you missed. Perfect. Because now we get to pelt you with everything. Uh, be him off. Move into. Is there, yes, it's there. You always use LRMs, but quite frankly, it's not, it's not worth the LRMs right now for the extra firepower damage we can do. Haha! -ha. Okay, be him off. Everything apart from the LRMs, fire! Okay, we need some damage. Wish we'd hit that torso though. Glitch. What can I do for From you? where you are, what is your capability of targeting? 70s. If I were to ask you to do a position strike, 33% chance to hit there and 2% to hit the head. Try to do that. Torso it. it. Ooh, that looks like a pretty good torso shot. That looks like a pretty decent torso hit. And. It was a pretty decent torso hit. Nice! Alright, Medusa. If I were to get you to move to there. All of your main weapons are going to be in a good position to fire. You are my, my sh big shooter person, so the blackjack is the, the tank. Not the tank, the... I should put you in the, in the Medusa. Um, you don't have cold shot, unfortunately, which is a shame, because that would be kind of cool to just hit you with everything. Focus on that, on that torso. But, okay, let's go for it. Would appreciate more actual shots, but... I'm happy with that right arm gone. That's one weapon system down. Ooh, heat critical. Damn it, I didn't realise the heat. I should have paid attention to the heat. Should have paid attention to your heat. I forgot about you being the big, big guy. Uh, if you don't move, you can only find that. But if you move a little bit... Just gonna get closer for the MG. What's your ammo like? We have a chance of taking out at least some of its weapons. Sixty, sixty-five. Got to go down there to do the, oh, the maximum damage. Okay. Sorry, little guy, but uh, you've already taken damage. Let's uh, make them make them regret doing the damage to you, shall we? Ten four. Okay, that was bad because only your machine guns hit. Uh, Medusa, you are currently overheating, so I'm going to ask you not to move. 
But can you fire on them and not overheat the process? Set the AC tens off. Basically, you can fire two medium lasers. What my AC tens? Have I both AC tens and a medium laser? Roger. <clears throat> That's worth it. The SRM crit, so the SRMs are down, my friend. Some heavy damage. Yeah. Would have preferred to take a torso and keep those weapons, though. Glitch. I hear ya. Uh, again, you don't move. You have 670. Be him off. Waiting for orders. If you don't move, you have everything. And you won't overheat. I can't do the position shot this time around, so. Come on. Yes, that's brilliant. The pilot's incapacitated rather than the mech. Good. Well done. You might swipe out. Pop four out. You can do it. You can do the extract now. No need to get you out to plan DLZ. Excellent. Mission All the enemies successful. Done. Mission successful. All right. Mission is done. We get paid. Let's see what me let's see what scrap we get. We should get two pieces of scrap. About that. Payout, 181,000. We did both of those, it's excellent. Uh, we built up in the rank in there, it's excellent. Uh, we didn't get any benefit there though, unfortunately. All right, next up. Uh, you took, whoa, you took a lot more damage than I thought you were taking. You, they stripped all of your armor? Wow. Medusa, that's, that was, you didn't do that much damage, did you? Is that thermal damage? And you're out for 28 days, 26 days, oh, and 20 days, ah, oh, so much damage. Pilots need to be better protected, I'm just saying. Okay, salvage agreement, what do we get? A flamer and a medium laser. Okay, maybe if we can, get the flamer onto the small light mech, get it close, flame them, overheat them. It could be useful, because we don't, to get those other cannons, you have to get close anyway. Flamer could be useful, if we can fit it, is a question. Find out. Okay, because most of the time that little mech can only uh, fire its medium laser. You can't fire the, the MGs until it gets really close, in which case, flamer might be worth it. Contact. The Rimward Frontier. Alright everybody, gather around. After our last talk, I bit the bullet and started fishing around for uncertified contracts, and I might repeat this, might have caused something. Who was the client? <clears throat> Unknown. She didn't ID herself in the message, but she claims to be a member of the Canopian elite. She says that she's got a big job lined up and she wants us for it. Us specifically. She called the commander out by name. Ooh, that's not good. Uh, okay. I guess the tailor name still means something out in the Majesty. I'd like to believe that's true, boss, but I'm not sure I want to bet my life on it. You're certain this client isn't really a bounty hunter? Because I can list off about five different banks that would love to repossess the ship. We're shopping for uncertified contracts behind the review board's bank, Yang. Hell no, I'm not certain of anything. But for what it's worth, I confirm that she's rich. She reached out to us with a, with a priority HPG message, and those things ain't cheap. <clears throat> Rich is good, I like Rich. We meet this new mystery client, but that's all we do until we hear her out. Sounds like a step in the right direction, at least. We meet with a new client, but that's all we do. Because I want to hear what she wants, I want to talk to her, see her in the eyes, before we accept the missions. That's fair, Commander. We need to follow up on this, but doesn't mean we can't be cautious. A meeting is just a meeting. What's the worst that could happen? Oh, we're so dead. She said the magic phrase. We're dead. Ah, new client. Vents out of, an, out of their look. <clears throat> and our corpses spend the rest of our life tumbling through the icy vast space. Yang, you're just pessimistic. Thanks for the delightful image, Yang. Look, Pete, I'll admit, it's just sketchy as hell. But it's also the best lead we have Bella to find. If you want to follow up on the pot of course, well, Bellafin, the client will be waiting. The reason the client can't come to our ship, right? Meet the contact that 
Cannot be in mystery client ready for review. Excellent. I make worried I picked up a fair amount of combat experience over the few days. I've been doing it already. Don't forget you can check the state of your finances. I can see my finances, they're not good. There they are. Although we do have like a billion, so well, a million, so we're okay. But we have mechs out of action for us. 12 days on our main two, uh, 18, 19, and 26 days. So we have three mechs out for long durations, two coming back soon. If we were to go to the contract, how long would it take to get there? We'd be there pretty much immediately. If we were to go to the ammunition colony, it's 17 days away. Yeah. So we're going to go probably to be the benefactor first. Hopefully get our mechs back in time, because I would like experienced people. Also, if they're calling me out, but we should at least be back in, in thing. But anyway, let me know what you think of the game and the, and the play so far. And until next time, comments in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.